Let's talk about killing it and grilling it. Let's do Leg of Basilisk. Welcome to my channel. I focus on tabletop role-playing games, video games, and science fiction. The Basilisk is described as a medium-sized creature, but it is a fairly uh, difficult creature to deal with because of its petrification glaze. So it can turn things into stone by staring at them. It, so defeating a basilisk there is, is a bit of a challenge, but uh, for a medium to higher level party that should ha be no problem. You dispatch the basilisk. Now then, what do you do with the carcass of the basilisk? Well, the basilisk has an interesting digestive system. His gaze can convert things to stone, and it's described as being somewhat porous, but then the basilisk can eat the stone and digestive enzymes in his uh, digestive tract convert the stone back into flesh which can then uh, that he then it then digests so from this we know that the digestive system of the basilisk is a fairly complicated and if you read through the monster manual it describes that there are, there is oil that you may want to try and retrieve and certain alchemists and magicians may want some of his internal organs for study we know that his mouth is going to be very um, powerful his bite to, to be able to, to crunch to, to bite stone and to crunch it into his system is fairly impressive. So he's he's going to have a nasty bite. So the so the muscles in the in the in the head are going to be very strong, but because it's all wrapped up with his digestive system and the enzymes, this is something you probably don't want to eat. That would be definitely an acquired taste. So the and the internal organs like i said are dealing with that so his basically you don't want to deal with eating any of his guts shall we say but the basilisk has advantage he has eight legs so uh and the pictures of them show them as being fairly muscular type legs so if you disjoint the leg and cook off, take the leg off you have something that looks fairly interesting to eat. So if we um, take a look at the leg and how would we cook the leg? So let me, I gotta click here. So we know that there's very little fat on the basilisk because he's converting the the food directly from stone into, uh, into meat and then eating it and the stone is not going to be quote oily. So things like The basilisk actually has an interesting um, preservation methodology. Think about this. His food never goes bad. It's stone. It weathers, but it doesn't go bad. Now, if we're picky, we like, you know, most humans, and I'm assuming this is true of elves and dwarves and so on, that you eat the things that you, that you think taste good. But a basilisk eats stone, and it isn't converted back to flesh into lower in the digestive tract. So there's no reason for a bacillus to have much sense of taste. Perhaps, or perhaps he knows, he can sense or smell or taste what um, was there. Would they prefer something that, that had been in armor and they converted it to stone? Or something, the magic user that was, you know, that, that was in cloth or whatever. We don't know much about that and there's not much to say about the the what bacillus prefer to eat i mean which would it, given you have a petrified uh, fighter in plate mail and the plate mail and all that has been converted to stone or the magic user and hit the and in cloth arm and cloth which would the bacillus prefer or would he nibble on both the, the, is there a sense of taste there and there probably is a bit of sense of taste there, but his sense of taste is going to be very different. But it's because he's dealing with um, eating stone, the tongue, like on a on a cow, I mean, tongue is a is a very tender piece of meat, 
that uh, some people you know don't, don't think you want to eat tongue or whatever but the 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 tongue is uh, on a cow is often eaten because it's used for chewing cud and all this and it's highly exercised and, and it is a very tender piece of meat but the tongue on a basilisk because it has to deal with such rough substances it is probably going to be a fairly tough piece of meat so you're not going to do that on the other end you think about it the the basilisk could be something like you know the dung beetles we see the dung beetle where they uh, roll up a big ball of dung and take it down into their um, den and that's where they lay an egg inside it and we know the basilisk lays eggs so perhaps the basilisk when it kills something by glazing on it drags the body back for its eggs when they hatch to um, have a nice meal so that uh, but that would imply that they they come out of the egg with the ability to crunch stone which makes them you know kind of interesting but we'll talk we got to talk about young bacillus in a minute but so the bacillus is a fairly rough and tough creature so uh, once you've killed it skinning it is going to be a problem his, his skin is going to be relatively tough to go along with his you know his eating um, eating stone so he's a, a fairly tough creature but once you've skinned it then the the internal organs you don't want to deal with it unless you're uh, acquiring them for the oil but the the legs are can be disjointed and you've got a nice big chunk of meat here that that is there now because they're not a grazing animal the meat is not going to be red we know that the the meat is going to be a grayish and it's going to be from light gray to a light green because of the possible copper or it could turn be a tiny bit pink if they've been eat, if they've been eating a lot of iron because that would come from the, the coloration of that but that's it's on a young bacillus but as they grow older the meat will darken just like you know pork or whatever the the, the meat is darker as the, as they grow older now the other thing a uh, young bacillus the meat is going to be much tender so ideally you want to find a young bacillus if you're going out to have a feast off of bacillus you want to find a younger bacillus they're easier to kill but they also that their uh, the meat is going to be more tender less metallic flavor because as the as they eat more and more the metallic is going to there it's going to be an acquired taste if you like the the metallic taste uh, you know uh, like liver and certain other organs in if you've ever eaten in you know, like cow's liver or whatever they have a slightly minerally taste and that's going to be true in the older bacillus but the younger bacillus is is not going to have acquired as much mineral minerally taste so it'll be uh, it'll be t more tender a bit more juicy and um, won't have that strong flavor so you've you've skinned you've skinned it so how do you cook this well this is the method that I recommend and it's good we cook it very similar to a leg of lamb and what happens is you but you it's much larger let's be honest because it, even a even a young bacillus is going to be much larger than a lamb so you're going to take the take the leg and you want to decide if you want to disjoint it and cook the the individual parts of the the, la the leg but let's assume you're cooking the whole leg you've you want to uh, uh, clean it get rid of any silver skin which is a, a membrane that is on some of the uh, on the outside of certain things that's not gonna doesn't taste good huh? and it hardens when you cook it then the suggestion is is that you pierce it about once every inch all in all directions around it and in each piercing you slide in a piece of garlic now we're talking a about a leg of uh, bacillus that could be fairly big so you could use a lot of garlic on this thing it would be and a lot of people like the flavor of the garlic cooked into in the bacillus so you you slide in the slices of garlic then you're going to want to coat the whole thing in um, olive oil or a good oil and then roll it in salt and cracked black pepper so you get a nice coating of it like this and if you're if you've got some uh, some rosemary would also be a nice addition to this coating that you put on it you're gonna have to cook cook this this and the thing about it is you could be cooking eight legs of bacillus so you could feed a large party 
You want to cook it over indirect heat. You want to take cook it low and slow for quite a while because this is a big chunk of meat. You want the heat to permeate the entire leg. You don't want to really eat this raw because you don't know what kind of um, critters, what kind of parasites this has in it. So it's just like pork. Um, today in America, we don't hear much about trichinosis because our our swine population has been been cleaned and and very uh, naturally you know it's, it's we've got rid of a lot of the parasites but if you're eating wild pork wild boar whatever and the same thing with bacillus you want to cook it well done unfor because you really don't want any parasites that could possibly be there in that so you want to cook it till it's well done so you've got to cook this low and slow and that's why the the younger bacillus is more important you want to cook it all the way through you want it you don't want this to be rare because uh, the danger of uh, catching of some parasites on there so after you cook it low and slow you want it to cook slowly until the crust on the outside till there's a nice crust on the outside and then you want to, you know, rotating this frequently. And then you also want to check it to see that the juices run clear. So you cook it like a, a test it like a chicken. You, you, you pierce it and see if the, the juices run out of it, run clear, that there's no blood in the, in the juice. Now then, after you've cooked it, you want to let it rest. Now this is a big piece of meat. So you want it to let it rest, to let the juices reintegrate back with it. So let it rest for at least an hour. Then you slice it off in nice big chunks, and I suggest you serve this with a strong red wine. This is a, this is a fine meal that you could that for your adventurers. A uh, leg of basilisk. It's a, it's a meal fit for, fit for a adventuring party that have just defeated a basilisk. But like I said. It's an acquired, the older the silks are going to be a bit of an acquired taste because they're going to be much more minerally and so on. So if you can find the younger basilisk, ideal if you can find one under three months old so that they're fairly small, then there's less to cook. It's, they're easier to skin and they're not going to be a strong flavored tasting. So tell me what you think about this. Are you eager to try leg of basilisk? I'd uh, like to hear your comments below. Thank you for watching my video. I look forward to learning what you think about this video. Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, press the thumbs up button. You can subscribe by clicking the link in the lower left. If you are interested, there are links to more content.